可以用中文讲，可以完整。那你们现在还在写那个？好，这有三分之一的水果。Okay. 呃，好，我用中我我用中文讲好了，其实就是我们<咳>我们想要做的事情是，就是因为台北市政府那边有 open 的 data 是做那个呃，就是有一笔资料是就是小孩还是女，就是女生，然后。回家，然后就是，但是被就是有有自然死角，然后犯罪的地方。Since one of the um Taipei City officials has provided um open data about um childrens and women here and where they are attacked and the exact location. 然后，然后我们就想说，我们有有分几个步骤，我们想要拿这笔资料来用。那最后的就是我我们跟 Jun 有关系，那是最后面的一个步骤。那第一个步骤其实是想要用 App， 然后你走，比如说你就下载那个 App， 它会 track track 你的 GPS 的路线，然后它就会跳出一个 push 说，呃，你经过这个地方，它是吧 ？Basically that for at at first they are trying to make use of the data initially. So um, their original intention was to make an an app, and when you um come come near into um the last location and nearby, you will be push not notified of the uh, danger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 然后，然后接下来就是，就是我们第二个阶段其实是希望，如果可以的话，因为只是跳出来就是说会提醒你说这边比较危险。所以你你你应该要注意一下，比如这边之前发生过什么问题。Basically, they are trying to do not not only to notify you, but also tell you to be cautious. 呃，然后第二个阶段其实是我们想要做。那其实我们现在的比比较想法是想要跟台北市政府合作，然后在原本的监视器上面。然后把那个监视器改成一个柱子，然后上面贴，然后四个柱。那那个柱可以做 live streaming， 然后就是就是呃把原本监视器监视器变成可以飞的监视器。Basically, they are they are the second um they are trying to do in the second step is to um trying to cooperate with Taiwan Taiwan City government and they are trying to replace the original monitors and video camera. To fly, for example, you could have four drones hanging on roadside, and when somebody reports, they will become flying video camera and do live stream. Then, then, if you use the app, then you can add it. Then, 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 like live stream to your like for the link will get give you to the like your your family or you and your animal. So basically, the drone will just guard you when when you are broadcasting. Then, then, yeah. 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 So basically, their today's um progress is to their today's goal is to finish the app and uh, and then all the push notifications. And that's geofencing. So as you enter an area, you get alerts. Oh, uh, enter. Yeah, just when you come near into the um, area where, um, for example, ass assaults or attacks are reported, they would warn you by push notifications. The hotspot. You could sell this in South Africa. <laughs> okay. It's one of the highest crime rates in the world, and there is no such app. And the data is available for private security. Yeah, but we, we, we have gathered data. Yeah, yeah. The, the native. So there's data on things like carjackings and assaults. So if you're approaching a traffic light, where there's been a carjacking recently, you can get an alert. Yeah. 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 Y
uh, basically the data provided by the government is um, children and women attacked yeah, crimes. And so hijacking is a direction that could I'm not, I'm not sure. suggesting you must. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying in South Africa, that's the day to be there. Do you take into account uh, time of day in recency? Uh, so if women are more likely to be assaulted at 10 o'clock at night till 2 in the morning, is that... So they are provided on a quarterly. Yeah. Okay. Have you looked at um, Oakland crime spotting? No. Nope. Open it on your screen because that's the one that does time of day, uh, hour of day segmentation. Oakland crime spotting. Spot. Spot. And there's one double T. Yeah. There we go. We did that on uh, that crime spot so too. Yeah. So this is very old, but what okay. it does is you can search by time of day okay. and then also day of month. So, okay. so some days when it's a payday, you get your salary, uh -huh. there will be more muggings because <laughs> people are walking yeah. with money in their pockets. Um, or if there's a music festival, maybe that's when more cars get stolen. Yeah. Um, so, it's, but this is very old. This is four, <laughs> you can see it's four years old. Forty. Four or five years old. But the code is available open source. It's from Stamen Design. They do a lot of these good projects. Yeah. Where do they gather the data? Uh, in America, the cities, the city governments so release the data. Some San Francisco does. Yeah. Okay. So we tried to do something like this in Africa, but the data was not good enough. So we didn't get enough geolocation. So they just say in this district, they don't say on this this exact location. Just, just to be clear, when you say mugging, you are looking on cell phones. No, mugging is when uh, someone robs you, can take your wallet and your phone. Selling drugs, they've also got there lots of drugs. This is America. Or <laughs> well, San Francisco, should I say, not America. <laughs> <laughs> this, so, one last question, the drone, have you looked at the hardware or is that yeah, still Yeah, we have a drone guy, uh, he's, he's working on, uh, he, he actually working on it in a cab, he has his uh, company, he's a drone company, yeah, because the problem with drones with uh, quadcopters is they only stay up for 20 minutes and then they need to be recharged. So, back to Basically, I, our idea is like uh, we have many like uh, these four, and this four is very close, and you can so relay stations. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's clever. Yeah. Americans will be very scared of it. They think that they are black drones following them around, <laughs> black helicopters and drones. But um, cool, cool project. Yeah. yeah. And the code is um, available online. Yeah. Was on GitHub. Okay. It's, and it's on the Slack channel. Yeah. Okay. Great meeting, thank you very much.